Why is the chairman here? Yeah, you can I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, <majority. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is great. Yeah. So, thank you very much. very uh, glad that this morning we have been able to do what has not been a what has not been able to happen in this county over the last three or four years the passing of this uh, revenue administration act and its amendments thereafter of the 2017 and finally we have now the finance bill 2018 is has been a process a long laborious and tedious uh, process and I really must appreciate the maturity of the House, our county assembly, uh, under the leadership of the Speaker and uh, the entire <coughs> House. Of course, having emanated from the committee uh, led by Honorable Kabaire, we, we must really appreciate that finally we have been able to sign this and we'll, it is now operational. Uh, the future of devolution really lies in counties generating their own revenue. If you look at what has just happened the other day, by the mere sign, signing of uh, the tax law by the president, meant that Nyeri as a county lost 160 million by the stroke of that pen. Because when counties are losing 9.8 billion, pro rata as a county we are losing 160 million. That's a huge gap. It's a huge hole dug into our budget. And therefore, this Revenue Administration Act will go a long way, as has been said, in identifying all our 73-plus revenue streams and the penalties accruing, plus also the fees that we need to, to pay. Uh, looking at our budget for the 2017-2018, I mean, 2018-2019, going forward, we, we really have a problem. Uh, we, we set out to, to raise 1 billion Kenya shillings. The loss of 160 million now behoves upon the county to raise an extra uh, one, almost 180 million Kenya shillings. If we have to to really go by uh, achieve our 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 forecast in the budget, so we really appreciate. We are going to vigorously uh, implement this finance uh, act so that every shilling that should come to our coffer is collected. We must also thank the people of Nyeri because in the year gone by. They have been able to raise the revenue from 630 to around 730 million uh, of a period of one year. This goes a long way to say they have the goodwill of the government and we as a government must be able to confirm that every cent will go to its intended purpose. We have continued to say that the county of Nyeri is a corruption-free county and we want to spend one inch's money the way it should be spent. One inch must get, uh, must really see the results of devolution. They must see the fruits. They must enjoy them, and they can only be done uh, when we are prudent managers of their finances. We must also never forget to appreciate the county, the county assembly, and the entire membership of that house for they have continued to be uh, very faithful to their calling. They have had to play their uh, legislative role very well. You have seen that by today. It's not easy to pass these bills. The second thing is that they have also done their, um, like we said, the legislative they have done. Now the, the oversight is upon them and we are doing it together. So we really appreciate and I'm glad that today we can comfortably say we have the Finance Act in place and we will follow up to the last.
Yes. So maybe will you just give a highlight of uh, some of the key areas you focused on in the finance Well, everything across the board, but clearly, you know, we have parking fees, we have uh, charges we charge in our hospitals, especially level four and level five. We also have uh, land rent and rates that we charge in the county. Uh, we also charge, uh, like I said, parking fees. We have uh, any time uh, we have sales that we, we also charge. Uh, there, there are about 73 different streams or more that uh, we really focus. But we don't want to say we, are, we want to be more aggressive on specific areas. We want to have a, a general uh, uh, maybe we can put it and say we will have a general push in every direction to ensure that the revenue comes in. We are also glad that uh, we are doing a new valuation role. This valuation role will tell us really what is the value of property in Nyeri and that way will help us see which rates and rents we should collect. Yes, Lydia. Yes. 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 It is already on and we'll be launching it, I think, on the 12th of this month. Uh, we have engaged uh, the relevant uh, provider and we now have actually being rolled out the revenue management system. The last check I had, we had about 50 POS machines doing the rounds. We want to thank the governor for having assigned, uh, I mean, for having assented to this particular finance bill. And particularly, I also want to thank the uh, finance committee led by Honorable Akafaire, the chair uh, of the finance committee. And as an assembly, we are happy that we have come this far, particularly on the issue of. Uh, uh, having passed this bill, which all of you are aware, as the governor has alluded, uh, has uh, not been able to go through the assembly for, for several years. Uh, it is actually Finance Bill 2014. And uh, today we are happy because there was consensus between the members and between the executive and, of course, the public. I would want to say that one of the important aspects that has made this bill to go through is because of having a listening ear. The members of the county assembly were able to listen to each other and they took a bit of time. I would remember when they were doing this bill, they would go up to midnight uh, looking at different clauses and where they were not satisfied, they would uh, ensure that it is corrected. And when we even came, we were supposed to present this bill to the assembly a while ago. But when we realized again there were a few issues that were coming up and some few members were not very happy about uh, issues that were raised by their constituents uh, and their electorate, we had to go back again for another uh, sitting to agree. And basically it means that if people can sit together and agree, then we can make progress that will benefit the county. Now, we have had three uh, petitions from the public that the county assembly considered. One of them came from the churches where they uh, complained that there were issues that uh, they were not happy about, what you are referring to the crusade money and such. Those are some of the issues that were addressed in the assembly. We had another petition from uh, Narumoro Kiamadaga on uh, small agents who collect uh, rents for people in the, in the area. And again, uh, they petitioned the assembly to reconsider the, the fees that had been allocated. Again, this was considered by the assembly. We had another petition coming from uh, mainly the Nyeri town uh, residents complaining about the issue of land rates, especially on agricultural uh, freehold land. Again, the petition was considered by the assembly. And after considering those petitions, of course, with, after a lot of deliberations with the finance department, which of course would look at uh, uh, what the impact that would have in terms of uh, revenue collection, we are now happy that after having considered the public uh, petitions and the issues that were raised to the public, that is mainly the reason why this bill has been able to go through smoothly. And so we want to encourage the members of the county assembly and the members of the, uh, members of the public and executive to, of course, continue working together as we get the leadership from the governor 
so that we can uh, ensure that the members of this county benefit.